are lead, led by a subject matter expert from some aspect of either academia, uh, from the military, or other branches of the government. Yeah, we want to we take what you have. So we want a real exchange uh, to go on here between us. The teacher was uh, very open-minded, which I really liked. The people they had uh, leading the discussion were very knowledgeable, and I was impressed with the quality of instructors they had for us. So. They let us lead, they let us follow, they answered our questions, and they questioned us. Put it this way, what options do we have? Drop, no drop, three steps, right? Good. My uh, favorite seminar so far has been uh, Sub Saharan Africa. So far, I like the China, Japan, and the Koreas. I would say the conflict in Persian Gulf. I got that uh, yesterday. Um, I'm really liking it, actually. I'm learning a lot that I, I didn't think I was going to learn here. Well, I think it was much more in-depth than what I expected to see. On behalf of our hosts, the Virginia Military Institute, Washington and Lee University, and the Board of Trustees of the George C. Marshall Foundation, we welcome you to historic Lexington, Virginia. George Catlett Marshall, for whom this building was named, was and is a man to be emulated. The award to which you have been named a recipient honors the man, his life, and his dedication to duty. Well, thank you, Mr. Adams, and thank you for asking Lieutenant General Timmons and me to serve as the co-chairpersons of the 2009 George C. Marshall Army ROTC Award Seminar. Let me highlight a great team effort that has been underway here for over three decades, and that is the tremendous partnership uh, between the U.S. Army Cadet Command and the George C. Marshall Foundation. We are honored to be here with you, the future leaders of our Army. On the count of three, quickly look to your left, and then immediately look to your right, and then return your head and eyes to the front. Ready? One, two, three. All right. With almost 100% certainty, I can tell you that during the last few seconds, you've seen at least a half a dozen future brigade commanders, several future division commanders, and perhaps at least one future chief of staff of the Army. Because assembled here are the best of the best. With quality at an all-time high, the fact that you cadets were selected to represent your academic institutions speaks volumes about your individual record of accomplishments. The Guard and the Reserves and the active duty are fighting together. Uh, we have, as I see, three missions. To fight the nation's wars, to protect the homeland, and to provide the service to communities. General Marshall always had that vision. Your role as a leader, ultimately, is to keep hope alive. And that requires the best of all of you. Leadership, leadership, leadership. Don't forget that word. Taking care of the people entrusted to your command is a profound officer responsibility. Again and again. You make the Army strong. I actually want to begin today by thanking you for raising your right hands and pledging your uh, loyalty to the nation, your support for the Constitution, and your willingness to serve your nation in time of, of war. As recipients of the Marshall Award, you've been recognized for both your military and your academic achievements. The 
brings to sum up his career and his character. Both describe the legacy you have inherited and set the bar for every one of you. You are the best and the brightest. Demons of integrity, work above your grade, and we expect a lot of every one of you. President Obama held the men and women of the American military up to the American people as an example of selfless service. So here's what he said. They have something to tell us, just as the fallen heroes rely on them and whisper to the humans. We honor them not only because they are the guardians of our liberty, but because they embody the spirit of service. And it is precisely that spirit that inhabits you. And I welcome you to the profession of honor. Thank you very much. We've had some some great guest speakers. Um, all all the meals have been fantastic. They they're taking care of us here, so so that's a, a good bonus to this entire thing. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm from University of Texas Pan American in South Texas. South Carolina State University. I'm at the University of Central Arkansas. I'm from Kansas City, but I go to Boston University.